Hello civil engineers, welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will see how to calculate the uh, column concrete quantity and the shuttering quantity. But here the catch is procedure remains the same. But now if you see here, this is my roof floor level up to here. We have done everything. You no, know? now you see here. Now this and this you have to see together. Okay. This is your top of your roof slab. Okay. It's here only you see here. This is your top of your roof slab. That means from here, all the columns will not go to the terrace level. For example, if you see here, here only this much area it is shown. If I show you the same thing on this side, this much area is shown here. That means this is that area. Agree with me. This is that area which is shown. And this is that area which is shown in the same way. This much area is shown here. That means definitely this much area is shown there. Okay. So. Now I'll, when I calculate the column, now all my columns are not going. Whereas all these columns you can see here, none of the columns are going to the terrace level. Only these columns what we have here and these columns what we have, only those are going to the terrace level. So I need to pick only those columns and write it in my Excel sheet. So for that you have few uh, simple options. One option is that, see, uh, here what has happened, no? these people have not mentioned like which column is like which column is whether it is C25, C21 and all. So here also they haven't mentioned. So for that you just need to come here, pick this particular layout that which layout? Uh, yeah, this layout. See in this layout they had mentioned all those columns like C27, C28 and all. So what I did was I I copied this same from here. You just have to see select in this way, say control C. Okay. And then come here. And you paste it here. See, I pasted it here last time. Okay, you can see I pasted it here. I'll say Control V. I'll paste here once again. Okay. Now you can see I pasted it here. Now I pasted the both both things. That is, this is my roof level and above roof level. Now I'll identify. See, now here column is coming. Here also your column is coming, right? So where is that portion? Uh, yeah, this is that portion. Okay. This is that portion. Otherwise, if you are finding it difficult, go with the grid line. Okay, four grid line. This is also four grid line. And this is grid line number one. This is grid line number one. That means this column. So this column will go. So which is that column? The name of the column is C12. Note it down, C12. Okay, next, which column will go? Again, they have shown this column. That means this column also will go to your terrace level. What is the name of the column? C13. Okay, after that, see, they have shown one column here. But you don't have a column here. Okay, you don't have a column here. Why is that so? Because here there is one column which has been added. If you come here, see here floating column C14 starting at the roof level. That means this particular column what you can see it is starting from the roof level only. Okay. It is starting from the roof level only. So that is not seen here because right now this is your which level drawing I had taken. Yeah, this was my ground level drawing I had taken. That is why you cannot see that column here. Okay. You cannot see that column. You're getting my point. This particular drawing, what I'm showing you, it's a ground level. So in the ground level, you cannot see the roof, slab, roof level, uh, that floating column. No, so it's not visible here. It's not visible here. Okay. So that is why it's mentioned here only they have mentioned it. See this particular column they have drawn here and shown that, that this is a floating column. And what is the name of a column? C14. So you note it down C14 also. What all things you noted down? You noted down C12, you noted down C13, you noted down C14. Then again scroll down. This column is there. Yeah, this column is also there. What is the name of the column? C8. Note down. Again, you see this column. This column is also there. What is the name of the column? C9. Note down all these things. Again, you have this column. Yes, there is one this column. What is the name of the column? C10. Okay. Then again, this column, this column, this and this. All these four columns will go to the terrace. Again, what is the name of those columns? C6, C7, C2 and C3. All things you have to note down. Okay. And then this much part again will go. Again, what is this part? So this part is C23. So this is C23. Again, see they have shown one column here. But in your ground level, that this column is not visible. No problem. I'll come here. See here in the layout. Okay. Here in this layout, again, that is a floating column. See here, the mention. Okay. This is that floating column C24. Note down C24 also starting at the roof floor level. Again, this column, this column is also floating column C19 starting at roof floor level. And then this last column, this column, what is the name of this column? Come here and see the name of that column. 
so that column name is c20 right am i correct yeah this is done no yeah this is done this column yeah this column is c20 c20 okay so whatever columns i told you, you know you have to note it down only then i can help you in doing all this excel sheet see in the excel sheet i have written all those columns c2 c3 c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 12 13 14 20 23 24 and 19 right 23 and 19 if you don't want to do in this way this people when they give this column schedule no see this is a column schedule in the column schedule this guy has mentioned that this particular area is from footing to ground level okay that means all this columns what we have no this will be from footing to ground level next they have mentioned ground level to first floor level then they have mentioned first floor level to roof level and here you see roof level to top of the roof level so whichever column is coming under this no that will go to the roof level like whatever i calculated no the same thing they have mentioned in the table so it's written roof level to top of roof level so what is the name of those column just identify from here see here it is shown here the uh, column section is shown this is shown first and second row you have a column that means now name the name is given so again c2 c3 c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 c12 c13 so whatever i counted no the same column they are mentioned here you can take even from here also after that after that again this dash this is dash that means no columns are going again you come to the fourth row one two three four so in the fourth row again you have four, how many columns one one two three four see c20 and c23 is also going okay fine after that after that again you come here this portion this portion these are floating columns again c24 is also going to the terrace level and then last this portion which portion is that last this portion bottom so which are those column again c19 is also going you're getting my point so whatever i told you know if you write note it down then i have done the same thing here i have done the table here like c2 c3 c6 c7 all these four columns have a size of 200 by 300 so i have put them in one one single row okay then c8 c9 c10 c12 c13 c14 all these columns have a size of 200 by 350 so i put them in one row so c <clears throat> c20 c13 c24 and c19 all these columns have a size of 200 by 200 i put them in one row now you count how many columns are there so i have written here one two three four so four i have written here one two three four five six so six i have written here one two three four yeah one two four four so six plus four is ten ten plus four is fourteen columns i should get i'll go to the autocad and let me verify that how do i verify very simple come to this layout and check whether 14 columns are here or not so i'll count i'll start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 11 12 13 14 done 14 columns i'm getting here same thing i'm getting in excel sheet and then you try to verify the sizes okay that you can do from that uh, autocad only otherwise i have given it here done so once this thing is done it's very simple now your units will be in square meter number already i told since I'm finding the shuttering quantity, I need the perimeter. Add all these things, point 0.2, I've done it here. 0 0.2, okay, this is, okay, one mistake. 0 0.2 and this is this is 0 0.3, okay? And this is 0 0.3. Done, no? Okay, see, again, there is mistake. Yeah, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, done. So one I'm getting, okay. Now find the perimeter of this again. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.35, 0 0.2, 0 0.35, fine. Again, this is 200 by 200. Okay. And why that mistake? Okay. 0 0.2 and this 0 0.2. Now it's okay. See, yeah. 0 0.2, 0 0.2 is, comes out to be 0 0.8. If you want to verify, you can copy this. I mean, if you want, I can take a screenshot of this. I'll take a screenshot. And in the Excel, let me verify this part. I mean, in the AutoCAD, I'll verify it. Okay. So that will not go wrong anywhere. Here the size is also mentioned. I'll paste it here only. Can I paste it? Yeah, I can paste it. See now, C2, C3, C6, and C7. Size is 200 by 300. I've written the same thing. C2, C3, C6, C7. 200 by 300. Then again, C8, C9, C10, 12, 13, 14. C8, C9, C10, C12, 13, and even C14 also. It's not mentioned here. 
but C14 also has 200 by 350. I'll show you C14 also here. See here, C14. C14 should be somewhere here. Okay, it's not there. Ha, C14 is here. What is the size? 200 by 350. What we had here? 200 by 350. And last one is how much? The last one is C20, 23. So where is C20? C20 is here. Okay, C23 is here. What is the size? 200 by 200. It is 200 by 200. And 24 and 19. So where is your C24? C24 is here. 200 by 200. And C19. C19 is here. 200 by 200. Done. So everything we have verified. No, no problem. We can go ahead with this particular thing. Okay. Length I got. Width I don't require because perimeter I got. Now height. So height where you are going to find this height. I'll go to the Excel sheet. I mean sorry AutoCAD. Now come to the section part. We are doing this part. No. This part. That is from the roof to top of the roof. The section is given. It is again 3.33 meter. So that is why I have done an input of 3.3. Usually, uh, usually what we try to do is this your mum. This is also called as mumpty level, okay? Because the staircase portion will go. Whatever you are able to see now, no see. In your plan, you had a staircase somewhere here. In the plan, we had a staircase somewhere in this portion, okay? So that is why wherever the staircase is there, no. That portion will have this. This slab will come to cover the staircase because the lift is here. Your staircase was somewhere here. So to cover that, your mumpty slab is going to come. Okay. So that is why. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that uh, usually that height will be little less compared to your floor level. If your floor height is 3.3 .3 meter, your mumpty may be some 3 meter. But in this particular project, they have taken all the height to be same. Then no problem. If it was 3.1, let us consider. I would have done an input of 3.1 and dragged it. Similarly, I got an answer. But according to this drawing, it is 3.3. I'll consider 3.3 only. Not an issue. Okay, done. Now, the quantity, you know, 3.3 into 1, 3.3 into 1.1, 3.3 into 0.8. You'll get this. So, total quantity will be three quantity into number of members. Okay. Here it has gone wrong. See. Plus uh, 3.3 multiply by number of members. Yeah, now it should come correct. Yeah, 45.5. This answer is correct. Yeah, see again here there is one mistake. Okay. Uh, when you copy the Excel sheet, no, try to check the formula also. Sometimes it will take the wrong formula. So, so here it's taking all the wrong formulas. I'm not sure. Maybe 3.3 .3 multiply by 1.1. Uh, it is correct. No problem. And again, 3.3 .3 .3 multiply by 0.8. Fine. No problem. So, total your shuttering quantity, whatever is required till the mumpty level. It is 45.54 square meter. Fine. So once you got the shuttering quantity, next I need to find the concrete quantity. So how we will find the concrete quantity? Very simple. I'll write here instead of uh, this shuttering, I'll write concrete and I'll finish it off. Okay. Concrete. Concrete. Right. Quantity. So this will be cubic meter. Drag it. Rest all things I've written it correctly. Just verify. 464. Perimeter won't come. Okay. Just write the column dimension. 0 0.2. This is 0 0.3. And this is 0 0.2. This is 0 0.35. 35. And this is 0 0.2. And this is 0 0.2. Done. Finish. So it will be how much? Uh, okay. Height will be 3.3 .3 only. Plus. Plus. 3.3 .3 multiply by numbers. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. This is wrong. Uh, equal to uh, what, what will be the answer? Yeah, 0 0.2 multiply by 0 0.3. Wait. Equal to 3.3 .3 multiply by 0 0.3 multiply by 0 0.2. 0 0.198. Drag it. And this will be Quantity multiply by number of members four then zero point seven nine fine hardly two point seven one cubic meter of a concrete is required okay that's it so everything is correct no yeah I'll, let me verify for one of the answer so four into zero point two into zero point three into three point three yeah zero point seven nine two fine four into zero point two into zero point two into 3.3 yeah 0 0.5 to it fine it's correct uh, this is correct uh, with this point 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 
point three, height is three point three. Fine. Okay. So concrete quantity I found, shattering quantity also I found. Next we'll try to see for the slab part, and then uh, I'm next we'll try to see for the shattering how it has to be. Shattering is very simple now, and then I will do the uh, slab, uh, the top slab uh, centering and the concrete quantity. So I hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.